Hello, hello, hello. Happy Sunday. Hello, my friends. Hello, family. Hello, hello, hello. Um, I just want to come this afternoon and just say hello to you and greet you. It's Sunday. Uh, and I'm just, you know, wanted to take this opportunity to say thank you for those of you who've been following me. Thank you for those who've always been supportive. Thank you for being my friends. Thank you for entrusting me with your space to share some good news with you. Thank you for um, helping me and all those words of encouragement that you know uh, you sent to me. I receive inboxes, you know, from people telling me thank you. That word really encouraged me. Hi, Elizabeth. Nice to see you. Um, Hello, Shiro. Nice to see you. Thank you for joining me this afternoon. It could be, yeah, I'm sure it's evening in the uh, East Coast by now. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I am super excited because um, I just got this revelation that was just so amazing. And um, it, it's, it's revelation, but it's something that we know of, we read about, we hear about. But the exciting news, because the word of God is always fresh. The word of God, um, it's it's like fresh breath every morning. It uh, breathes life into my inner core. And I thought maybe if I just share with my friends, my family, anybody who is connected with me through this wonderful uh, platform we call social media, it might just be able to bless you and probably might carry you through through some things that you're going through you know how we've always had the word you know the word always tells us you shall know the truth and the truth shall set you free i love in in the book of john how jesus you know he was being you know the, he was being questioned and you know they were uh questioning who he was and why he kept referring to himself as the light, as the bread, as, you know, and they were really kind of aggravated. And this is the Jews themselves. They were asking him, you know, almost like, who do you think you are? And I know sometimes <laughs> some of us, because of the journeys that we've been through, some of us, because of the past we've been through, when you come and shed light and you share the good news or try to encourage somebody there will be those people who are thinking who are you who i mean what ma what makes you special what makes you think you know better than i do what makes you think that you have the answer to it all i'm not you know we're, we're not on this platform to say we have it all i'm just i would love to just encourage you as i encourage myself as i you know um i'm walking this walk on a daily basis and just finding new the new truths and holding to the truths that have been taught and it the the truths that have been taught have are becoming more and more uh, of a revelation and so i am not you know your bishop apostle whoever i am just jerry a woman of god you know and actually i am a daughter of the most high god i'm a child of god so i'm coming to you today as a child of god talking to and speaking to other children of God. And maybe even if you don't know God, you might be just encouraged to get to know this God. So I'm going to read to you. It's just, just a short scripture that was really, really interesting to me. And uh, it's, you know, remember in, in the book of Exodus, actually, let's, let me first start with the book of John. In the book of John, Jesus, uh, the son of God, he's the one who gives freedom. And he says, uh, Jesus said to the Jews who believed in him. Remember, he was now speaking to the people who believed in him. And um, and there were others who didn't believe, but the, he was speaking. And he said, when you continue to embrace all that I teach you, prove that you, you, you prove that you are my true followers. Um, so for if you embrace the truth, it will release true freedom into your lives. And, you know, that's where the scripture says, you shall know the truth and the truth shall set you free. That's what Jesus was telling them. And why he was telling them this is because he was trying to show them and, you know, expound to them and explain to them who he is. He had already told them, I am not from this world. And they were not getting it. They were like, I mean, until the dude who was just born uh, in, you know, uh, in Bethlehem, um, you know, and, and, and they were, they were, kind of questioning and not not sure why is this guy telling us this but then the good thing about that is when 
when you go to the book of Exodus chapter 3, verse uh, 13, and I'll sh show you how it ties in as who Jesus is and how he is, when, we, when you say he's the Trinity, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, they are three in one. I mean, this was amazing. When Moses asked God, if I come to the people of Israel and say to them, uh, you know, the God of your father has sent me and they ask me, what is his name? Uh, his, and who, what shall I say to them? And God said to Moses, I am whom I am. And he said, and he said, say this to the people of Israel. I am has sent me to you. I am has sent me to you. Now, here's Jesus. He's, he's calling himself the same thing. He's saying, I am the way. I am the light. I am the bread of life. And the Jewish people who've grown in a culture and know the history of their people, who know how they were brought out of captivity, and God told Moses to tell them, I am sent me. And Jesus is saying, I am I mean, the father is saying, I am. The son is saying, I am. And they got really upset in, in, in John chapter 8 and it, it, in verse 58. Uh, verse 58. Um, is it 58? Hold on one second. Yes, verse 58. But, but prior to that, he says, but many of the Jewish leaders, remember, these are the leaders, doubted him and said, what are you talking about? You're not even 50 years old yet. You talk like you have seen Abraham, Jesus said to them, I give you this eternal truth. He's giving them a truth that is beyond, you know, our natural realm. He said, I give you this eternal truth. And he said, I existed long before Abraham was born. He said, for I am. Jesus did not say, I was, I will be. He said, I am. He again re reiterated the same word that his father said, I am sent, tell them I am sent me, sent you. And Jesus is saying, I am telling them before the foundation of the earth, I am, I am part of the Trinity. I am part of the father, son and the Holy spirit. So he's telling them, and he, he had already told them the things that you see me do, I cannot do that, which is not what my father is not doing. I do what my father does. So I am my father is I am, I am, I, I am also I am, and the Holy Spirit is also I am. And I was like, oh my goodness. Now, think about this, ponder on this. He's saying I am. And how many times when we, we are lacking in anything, and um, God is not, God keeps reminding us to stay in the present because he is not in the yesterday, he's not in the tomorrow, he's all constantly in the present why because he is i am he is not i was he is not i will be he is i am so he's the god of now whatever you need now i am will provide for you he says i am the way i am your provider i am your healer i am your deliverer i am your refuge i am your fortress i am love i am peace I am your friend. You know, I am holy. I am. Everything starts with I am. Now, if if we are the children of God and he call, he says I am. You don't see God say I am with a negative to it. It's always positive. It's always what he can do for you. He is the shepherd because he provides. He is he will let, he he'll uh, help you go lay by still waters because he he is peace. He is peace. He is, you know, he says, I am, I am the deliverer. I am the bread of life. I am the light. You know, I am light. So what things are we speaking to ourselves when we are identifying with I am and then adding a negative to it? Because that's counter, counteracting the truth of who Jesus is. Jesus is not, I will be. Jesus is not, I am broke. Jesus is not, I am sick. Jesus is not, I am depressed. Jesus, I am peace. I am love. I am patient. You know, I, he's everything that is positive. So I was truly excited, you know, about now the word when the word says, 
you shall know the truth and the truth shall set you free if you stand on the truths of jesus christ of who he tells us he is then everything else will line up he only speaks positive he doesn't speak negative so i want to encourage you today the same way you introduce yourself and say i am so and so remember to say i am the child of god and because i am i am in the present provided for i am whole i am loved i am you know delivered i am protected you know because i am is what is covering everything else so i just want to encourage you and i hope you get excited like i did because i'm just like a little kid right now I'm like yeah i am is with me anyway i pray that this word will just encourage you as you move forward in the week to remember when you're using the word i am i am is also the name of god i am the way i am the truth i am the light i am peace i am love i am your deliverer i am your refuge i am your fortress remember those words during the week when you're going through a challenge remember i am is constantly and present with you to deliver you to save you to protect you call on the name of the lord and he will be there call on i am and he is there with you i thank you for inviting me into your um space and you know hi judy hi nice to see you so i thank you and i pray that god will bless you through this week and that you will find the truth and you will stand on the truth of god and the truth of jesus christ and what he spoke to us and that truth will definitely set you free until next time i pray that your week will be blessed your monday will be blessed your tuesday will be blessed i call your wednesday blessed your thursday blessed your friday blessed your saturday blessed and your sunday blessed and i call every hour of the day that you get to be alive blessed i thank you and i pray shalom and shalom until next time have a wonderful week bye